No, no dex rolls required. No. Um, Jellykins in the chat says hello, team, and waves to hello, you all. Hello, Jellykins. And Jellykins. Welcome to Ghost Bane and the Bradius Maximus, who I think is in the stream, and also Violet Gumby. Uh, welcome hello. to you all, and welcome to Thank this you. week's um, thrilling episode. Thrilling episode of um, uh, Mithras. That's funny. <laughs> Violet Gumby rolls 500 and he rolled 1d20 and got 10. Yeah, I think it's the exclamation mark roll that actually works, Violet. Uh, violent, sorry. I always call him Violet. And it's, Violet. And it's violent, isn't it? He's so it? pretty. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, before we go any further, I'd just like to say that, sadly... Um, um, Big Beastie, who plays um, Briggs, um, he has been poorly for most of the week. He couldn't ma make the um, Shadowrun session on Tuesday. Um, his fever broke last night and he thought he was going to be able to make it tonight. But unfortunately, he's not very well. So Briggs is, again, um, um, poorly. And of course, Lucas is out and about keeping guard of the caravan until he comes back in and then if necessary then i will play that character if and when so apart from that um let me give the players their opportunities to say who they are and who they are playing tonight and as always um um gulliver um starts it off Hello, I'm Chagorga. I am playing Gulliver, or Gully as most refer to him as. He is a um, red-haired, um, freckled-faced, um, scrawny-looking youth, about 17 winters old, and he is an apprentice sorcerer. He's apprenticed to Master Healy, who is teaching him the sorcerer ways. Do you want me to pass it on? Yes, just pass it on to some of the guys. I shall pass it on to um, Long Chang's EPG. Hi, guys. I'm Long Chang's EPG. I play Angus. He is the, um, the old grizzly sort of like warrior of the group. I say old, he's only about 28, but that's old in, in warrior years. Um, he's, although most of the party don't know this, he's from a fairly, fairly noble background. Um, his father's a, an aristocrat, um, so he carries a lineage that's ancient. Um, he fights for Sword and Shield, fulfills, if you're talking like role-playing terms, he fulfills the tank role in the group, um, and he's, he, he, can, he can take a bit of a bit of a knock. Um, and I will pass it on to the awesome Mr. Pickles. Oh, Mr. Pickles, that's me. Um, I play Bartleby, Bartleby Fumus. I'm already kind of messing up my words. Um, I'm the team's healer. I'm a, a priest that interprets the will of the Twin Moons. Um, and that's that's what I do. I heal, and I know things about monsters. Passing it on to Wrath Inspire. Wrath Inspire. What's up, everybody? I'm Wrath from Wrath Inspired. Uh, I am playing Dominic Shea. Dominic Shea is the group's uh, horse son. He is a vulgar, uh, uncivilized um, barbarian who uh, is a sworn protector of his um, druidic. Oh, what? Oh, God. God peace. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, he is a protector of his his uh, godly codpiece. Um, he he calls upon the power of the gods to imbue his own body with with further strength so that he can wreak havoc on the enemies of his deity. Yeah. Oh, I'm supposed to pass it. I want to pass it. Who oh, hasn't gone yet? Pass yeah, I guess I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass it to Big Beastie. Yeah, he's not here, so it's coming back <laughs> It's coming back to me. Um, right, guys, um, just before I give a, a brief synopsis, I've been doing some work 
on um, some people's characters and Bartleby and Dominic and you and Hengis, you will now notice that you have got a passion in your on your character sheets. Have you can find that? It's underneath your professional skills. Mm -hmm. You should all have um, a passion. And passions are something in this game which allows you to um, almost like follow oaths or even um, sort of like follow the ways. And they're, they're, there's some really nice uses of um passions um including one of the things that we can do is that say for example um somebody was fighting in the name of something and they were using their passion then i think off the top of my head but i will clarify it you can actually add one fifth of that dice roll to your ability so if you were um fighting in the name of something and i don't mean just calling down that person's name every five minutes but say for example you were fighting against another cult member <laughs> an enemy cult or something like that then you can actually use that um passion it also allows you to have a role if you wish to go against um the way of your your order or what everything like that or even if you want to go of for something and we can use them in and out they they rise um just like normal skills so you can increase them um as you go along just by putting skill points in they don't um apart from they don't have a normal skill base role um unless you i will probably ask you to roll your passion so for example if i uh, we know Hengis, you know yours, but say, for example, um, Briggs has um, a passion that um, he has to kill um, bears. Then if the party was actually trying to run away from a bear, Briggs would have to roll his, I would say to Briggs, roll your passion. And if he succeeded in it, or if he failed it one way or the other, then he would either turn around and attack the bear no matter what, or join you to run away. I can add negative points onto them. So if I roughly think that you're not following your passion enough, then that implies uh, negative bonuses and your passion can go down. So if you have a passion that you are following a religious belief and I consider that you're not following your religious belief um, significantly, then your passion will fall down and your oaths will fall down. And then eventually, if they become zero, then that's it. You, it's decided that you still got devotion. You still got, you still believe in God. It's just that you fail to impress that God. Now, Gulliver, I did ask for yours. And I think you said cheese, which I don't, yes. I, I don't think you can have a passion <laughs> You can have a passion for cheese. I know you can have a passion for cheese, but I was looking for something a slightly more um, role playish. Although I did, I think, think, I think with I think with Gully, it's, it would be something his passion would improve. He, he would he would find it as he gets older. Yeah, and and I think it might be if you ever join an order, then that might um, happen. The the other thing that I was looking into, um, Dominic, was that I've actually found found. A seduction skill in the game and because i know how much you like to um play around and I, it does does add of interest it's a professional skill so you won't have it unless you put um, um, points into it but i just wondered um it's actually based on your intelligence and charisma so if you actually added your intelligence and charisma together what what did they actually come up to uh it comes up to 19 right <laughs> you're obviously either very intelligent or very charismatic it's and the sarcasm was in my voice there okay <laughs> so um yeah so we, we'll see looks like um gully's got a chance with jasmine after all what's what's, <laughs> what's your seduction then if if you better, had to... better than Dominic's. <laughs> right oh well it, we, we've, it, actually if you've got um a high intelligence then yeah. that that's probably um would put you well, well on the way, I think, well on the way to be um, seducing people left, right and centre. There you go. There is 
uh, an option for there cheese, is hope. for cheese to be your passion. I, I was mm-hmm. thinking when, when you did say passion, Gulliver, I was thinking, yeah, I can see that. You know, if you had a passion for cheese, 90 percent and somebody came along and tried to take your cheese and you actually launched into combat, then you would add on one fifth of 90 percent. As you try to battle them to protect your cheese, which I thought, no. I thought, I thought that would be quite impressive for you. It can like, be an object, though, can't it? Yeah, it, it. You just need to be able to justify it completely, and it tastes really good. <laughs> yeah, and why why you would have it, etc. Okay, then. So let's have a, a quick synopsis of what's happened so far. The party set out um, to. Um, find a, a lost caravan and on the way they discovered um, a, a wrecked wagon um, scene where they found that um, Benjamin who's with the party at the moment had been hiding from some wolves and there'd also been an old man somewhere in it that had been dragged off etc etc after that they carried on and, and Benjamin um, anybody remember where Benjamin lived yeah, he lived in the in the forest with his mom, who was a some type of herbalist. Yes, yeah, that that's right. He, he lived in the forest with some kind. Of, oh, we got a one man raid. That one raider, excellent. T. Raff, let's go. Woo! Uh, yeah. Whoop whoop <laughs> whoop whoop. Uh, um, yeah, so and you he sort of like you took him Bartleby sort of like took Benjamin under your wing, his wing, and you came across the caravan site where you dealt with some hideous goblins on boars. And then after that, you um, followed um, the pathway along. You came across some merchants and you clubbed together um, to kill a a fire beetle after a lengthy discussion and a lot of um, butt slapping and hugging when Dominic came back to the party and everybody was um, cup checking left, right and centre in fond admiration. I think Uh, that was just Dominic and Bartleby. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Uh, And then then at the same time, um, Briggs had gone off scouting and you left Lucas back at the caravan with orders to leave in three weeks' time i think it was if you seven had, days seven days unless you had come back by then and then you followed on and you came across a rather you noticed that the forest was slowly being depleted and you found um areas of abandoned crates and you came across a scene and if you remember there was some kind of um ghost-like figure talking um to what appeared to be a chief goblin and there was something burning next to it and at the end of your of the adventure you found out that it was actually a a goblin that had been unceremoniously um set on fire um like a human torch and that was it so i am going to whiz you across to the battle place Everybody should be able to see it now. I can see. I can see me and nobody else. I can see me, nobody else, and then I can see the the light source in the centre. I can see the mobs as well. Yeah, you should be able to see. You should be able to see everything around the fire. Yeah. yeah. Let me just check. Oh, I can't see. Oh, yes, I can still see me. Okay. Um, the way, reason you won't be able to see um, anybody else. Is because nobody's carrying any light, right? Be- because you you actually um, took the light off, didn't you? Right. Let me just change. Yeah, no, that that's right. Because you know, everybody. Just so you know, I, I'll put I'll put a bit of light on you, so you can sort of like see roughly. Um, Oh yes, there's everybody. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah, 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 we can see everybody. That's oh, fine. thank you for the bits. Yeah, so you can see everybody. That's where everybody is. And you were all hunkered down um over the by the crates. And if you remember, you can probably see down below, you can see the ghostly figure. Yeah. No, he's gone. Yeah, um and I'll I'll just stick him on again so you remember where he was. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, and if you remember, the boars are um, tethered to the ground. 
and the the goblins are there and the chief goblin is there just out of interest the chief goblin currently has partial cover because of the grates the crates sorry in front of him if you can see that yeah mm -hmm. okay. yeah okay so um we will be we will start off and just to let you know everybody whatever happens now any talks or whatever anything like that i am assuming is in um real life so any debates that you wish to have please have them in hushed tones and i i'm assuming that i'll kill the light when i have to i've just put it there to to make sure that everybody can see where everybody is okay okay um so after the um after the ghostly figure has disappeared does the what happens in the camp G gully's gully's keeping an eye on on what's happening but he's also going to reach into his tunic and and take out the the disc that he uses to channel his more powerful magic through okay um, so is the idea from the party um, is that you're just going to stay here and see what progresses in the in the camp? Uh, I want to lean over to Bartleby and we know what you want oh. to do. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Bartleby. Yes, Bartleby, sir. I can see you talking, but but no words are coming out. Is thou muted? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> hard time with my ears and whatnot um but i'm here let's go what are we gonna do gang i like your shaft bartleby i is this your club <laughs> he's holding a, a staff isn't he yeah, yeah, I think, no, we, yeah. I think he's got a... nothing really fancy i think it's well, yeah I like it's... It. cool you're welcome what are the um, what are the goblins armed with? Um, these exact exactly what they were armed with um, in the um, previous um, adventures. So they have um, sword swords, sword short sh short swords, short short sword. yeah, short spears, and they also have shields as well. Out of interest, does Gully recognise any of them to be? one of the ones that ran from the camp at the first camp where we left Lucas. Yeah, you, you can make a perception roll. Yeah, you, you, you sort of like figure most goblins look the same, They're, but mostly quite small. Greenish, Was he injured, the other ugly. one, though? You can't tell whether or not right, any of these okay. goblins are the same ones. Right. This is this is just a small. What is it? Um, are you ping, are you pinging something? Yeah, yeah, it just looks like it seems to be some kind of waterway. It's quite easy to get across. You know, you would make a noise coming across it, but you probably don't have to make an athletics roll to jump it. Right. Unless you were going to do something fancy. Okay. Okay, um, Angus is gonna he's he's gonna drop his pack, make sure all of that sort of thing's stowed by the rock that's next to him. He's gonna stick his helmet on and his shield on, um, draw his sword, and he's gonna go. All right, lads, I think we um, right, lads, I think we should just go straight go straight in. Um, Gully, do you wanna do you wanna take up a, a slight position to the side and blast some match, blast some of your 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 do your thing in that way. Um, Dominic, do you want to do you want to flank around left, and then I'll go straight down the middle. And Barsky, you can follow up and, and assist whoever needs assist at, at that at any particular time. <laughs> now, now, pretty much. Let's should, should we just go now? I don't think any more is going to arrive. Um, and whilst there's only a few of them, it's probably a good idea. <coughs> How tall are these crates in front of Gully? 
Um, they're tall enough to hide behind. Um, you can leap over them, but if you do, if anybody ever wants to leap onto them or off them, then you would need to have a, an athletics check to ensure. Even that climbing don't. onto them would it we would need. It, no, it did. Well, it depends what what sort of circumstances, because I don't want to say no, it doesn't, and then somebody right. try to be half injured, be covered in glue, um, blood and water and then do it so i mean if if you just want to clamber up on them slowly and surely then then that that you you might okay. absolutely be fine okay then okay. is everybody happy and everybody know what they're going to do yeah yeah gully okay. gully says i'm ready i'm ready okay then so what um you all need to do for me is let me just bring up the turn order And you can roll some initiatives for me. Then. Raph, you just need to change your icon. I've got a purple hippo. Next <laughs> is it a hippo or is it a rhino? I it's thought it was a rhino. rhino. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's a, it's a rhino. I thought it was a hippo. Not that fat yet. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just waiting for Bartleby. He's dropped out again. We've lost him. All right. We've lost him from Zoom completely now. Yeah. Oh, so all the um, thing will be messed up. So just bear with us, guys, while we mm -hmm. rearrange that. What I'll do... He might be restarting his computer. Yeah. I know you have seven audio issues. That's absolutely fine. But what I so can I do is that I can actually roll his initiative for him. And the other person that we'll roll for, um, just to make sure. I know it says Owen, but that's Ben's. Owen. Owen. Do Owen, Mark Owen. Just, just in case we need to. Okay, then. So um, I'll leave him um, up there. And let's start. Let's, let's have... Um, some um who's uh, let me just rearrange it sorry and then we can start um gully hengis and then the rest of you can you just change the combat round and combat turn things on it yeah, as well I'm just doing. so that i can keep i am doing track. don't worry thank you thank you in your own time there you go and don't forget to turn the light off Oh, it's back. Okay, so let's turn that light off so we know. We should be plunging into darkness now, yeah? Okay, yeah, then. Okay. So, so let's. Um, let's. Uh, that's cool. Okay, then. Um, let's. Um, let's burst into combat then. Sorry, I, um, I rolled initiative there. No, that's that's all right. I rolled it for you, but you can have your 11. I'm quite happy for you. I got a 13. <laughs> you did have 26. You, yeah, you did have you did a 84, but no, 11's yeah. fine. Excellent. Okay, then. Um, Gully, you're up first. So at, at the moment, Gully can see what's happening in camp. Yeah. But he doesn't need to move into the light to begin casting spells. You, you, the, 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 um, the flaming goblin is still flaming away, and so you can see exactly what you can see there. Okay, so at the nod for Hengis that we're we're making a move, um, Gully standing up is going to outstretch his hand and start casting a spell. Cool. You, so you're stood up now, yeah? Yeah. Was well, that is that the action standing up? No, I, I just wanted to know whether or not you were over the crates. That's what I wanted. Yes, <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm stood up so that I can see over the yeah, crates. Yeah, no, you, you don't need to take an a, a action standing up unless you're actually prone, which, no, okay. which, you're, which you're not. So so that's your first spell round spell casting. Excellent. Um, Hengis, you're up. Cool. Um, Hengis wants to um, move this way, so like round the boxes over the... I assume it, is it that, is it, that's a stream, isn't it? Yeah rather than yeah through the stream um he wants to move sort of like to about here okay so um, so that be... not being particularly quiet but not being particularly loud either 
Excellent. He's just sort of like striding towards them. So so that that will literally um, be your um, your movement. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. And um, Dominic, you're up. Uh, Dominic um, isn't going to move up yet. I think at this point he's just going to kind of um, – he's full armored right now, so he does have a shirt on. Um, I think he's just going to grab his shirt and kind of bang against his chest, kind of, just kind of revving up and sa- muttering under his breath to his god – uh, 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 the standby, um, uh, tap, Tabris, is that how you said that? Yeah, Tabris, yeah. Tabris, well, Tabris yeah. yeah. I want to, yeah, just h- hanging on and just like, you know, shaking and, and muttering to himself to, you know, honors and glories to his God. If he dies in battle, you know, it'll be in the name of Tabris. Excellent. Are you, uh, yeah. Passing act, by the way. <laughs> that's what you do. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And, um, Benjamin is always waiting and Bartleby, you're next. Yeah, muted, Mr. Pickles. You're still muted. You can do it. One day. You're go still on. muted. There, there we go. Here we are. Thank you. Uh, sorry. We're, sorry. We're being technical over here on my side today. Um, I, I want to whisper to Benjamin to stay, stay close by me. Um, and then, is Dominic within touching distance? He certainly or, is. Seems yeah. like a dumb question. Yeah, he's always near touching distance for yeah, you. Yeah, I'm Bartleby. always touching. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wanna I wanna pray to uh, the goddess Amriel. Yeah. To uh, protect him, and I want to cast my protection spell on him. Cool. Off you go then. Rolled as so. Nice one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay then. So yeah. So if he ever gets hit then you reduce it by 1d3 so either yourself or um, Dominic can actually um, do wow. it when, when it happens but I will on to Dominic put a little shield there you go so you know you've got it on excellent um, so that I think that is you all um, done yeah okay then um, so um, at that point I'm just going to um, roll um, some perception rolls. Silence. It's the suspense. Okay, um, I... As you sort of like um, come um, it into the light, well, into the dim light, you you notice Hengis that um, Goblin Two. I've I've given them I've given them numbers, guys. So I know. I don't. I don't can you actually see their labels? No, no, no. So I I know. So so Go- Goblin Two um, is the one here. I'll, I'll make it um, available for you so you can see it. Um, okay. A goblin too, sort of like, um, almost like, suddenly turns round and and sees you, Hengis, crossing crossing the the water, and sort of like let out lets out quite a large um, cry of disdain, and the the, the rest of the goblins um, sort of like um, start looking around um, to see if they um, to see what's going on okay um next turn this is so um gully you're up um gulliver still um mumbling underneath his breath casting a spell with his hand outstretched holding the disc and you start to see two streams of gray smoke starting to come out and heading out towards the the campfire or Excellent. the flaming goblin. Yeah. So um, w- will they be past Hengis yet? Um, well, they'll they'll be up to the they'll be up to the goblins next next round. Yeah. So um, Hengis, you you see the familiar smoke, um, sort of like going past you that you know that um, Gulliver's um, casting his spells and you see it sort of like entwining its way towards the camp. You feel quite reassured that you know he for one is is. Fully um, at the moment, fulfilling his part of the um, attack. Um, Hengis, you're up. 
so yeah seeing the smoke sort of hang sorry hengus is striding purposely towards the the goblins and the light now seeing the smoke like billowing past him he's going to give like a half smirk of just sheer like um not smugness but that sort of thing is like brilliant gully's doing exactly what i want him to be doing exactly um do you um do you want to move yourself or you sorry yeah he is yeah. moving to about here um and as he gets to the edge of the light he's going to be banging his sword the flash of his sword against his shield and going like that okay. on the top of his yeah voice. so so that attracts the attention of, of um everything and you you can notice the balls from where you are for, uh, at first, they sort of like um, flinch away from you, but they seem to be almost like straining um, at, at their tethers now. Um, Dominic, you up? Okay. Um, I was looking. There's a movement called running jump, and um, it says vertical is negative zero point five. I jump underground. No, is it's a, it's a fault with the um, with the character sheet. Oh, we we, okay. we realized it in yeah. um, in the first adventure. Oh, okay. Um, or the, the first one that we ever did. Because my run right now is 17, and if I can do that. That would be one action, right, to run 17? It certainly would be, yeah. Okay. And so I was like, if I did a running jump, that'd be really cool. As, as Hangus is just walking in like, raw, and then yeah. I just flying and like dive over him just like, <laughs> like yeah so, so you would actually um come um running in uh, mm -hmm. uh almost like at um full full pelt you know mm -hmm. um past um past um hengis um into the thick of battle if you yeah. wished yeah yeah i was just looking because there was the running jump is it possible for me to run and like dive over him and just like Rawr! like they would only see him and all of a sudden i just come launching over the yeah, front of him like. if um i i think your um jump um is dictated how high you can jump off off meters with that deducted but you would have to make an athletics roll to sort of like um dive o o over the top mm -hmm. of him if anything okay um so uh, uh should i do that then it's Make completely up. up to you if you if that's what you where whereabouts oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Oh, I got a good chance of doing this. You you do um do you wish to use a point of luck at all? Would it um, would it help? It, 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 no, it would. no would but he, he can roll oh, it I again. Re yeah, I'm gonna oh, re yeah. then. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it because I need it. Re rolling, please <laughs> Oh yes! yeah. Okay then. So, um, where, whereabouts? Uh, whereabouts do you want to end up, Dominic? Um. So if I was to run and dive over him, um, from here, I guess. Well, it really wouldn't work. I mean, you would end I up. Guess, I guess I didn't really need to jump over him. Um, I'll run and jump past him to land within range of this guy. It okay. Says I can go 17, okay. So, so, so where, whereabouts do you want to end up? Um. Uh, let me ping. I guess. Ending up, because he's running in, I guess ending up, like, here would be good. Yeah, that that's fine, because that's less than 17 metres, and yeah. your your leap is going to take up some of it in any case. So I think what we'll probably say that you sort of, like, run and you somersault over um, these crates, yeah, you know, and you go. just sort of, like, come and you sort of, like, hold your, you pounce up and you hold your the shaft of, of your great axe and almost, like, tumble um, over it uh, as you somersault um, over and then you, you land um, in, in front of him. And, you know, um, if there was a whole lot of people watching, there would definitely be a round of applause <laughs> at, at, that, at that point. Um, but, uh, well, so, some people are probably watching, but... Sadly, style, style points, guys. Yeah, style, yeah, you notice that two of the balls hold up at a seven. Just, just, <laughs> just, and then sort of like put them down. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay Bartleby. then, and um, Bartleby, what would you like to do? Um, I'm, I'm gonna make sure that Benjamin's staying with me, of course. Um, yeah. we're, we're kind of watching. Um, I, I guess we'll move up a little bit. Um, cool. Yeah. Like maybe I think you've got control here, over him. Yeah. Yeah. Over here, Benjamin. Oh, he does obey. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And that'll be my turn. Yeah, so that's that's movement. Okay, then. Um, so, Gully, you are going on the third turn because you will have um, uh, an action point left. Cool. Um, just a quick question. Are magic points, are they refreshed? 
um, due no. to its three days from our last. Oh, they. If you, when did you last cast? When are you from? They're Fire not... beetle. Yeah, because you would have gone um, yeah. in yeah, and out fine. of um, sleep. Yeah. yeah, excellent. Okay, and so, so are your um, luck points. Yeah, from your fight. Look, uh, yeah. Okay, so um, this is the last round of Gully casting his his spell. These um, this grey smoke. One of them's headed to Goblin Two. The other yeah. one's headed to the um, the main dude, the larger Goblin of the two. Okay, so um, um, you need to do your evocation spell. Yeah. Okay, Goblin Two will be standard. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, the boss Goblin is behind the crates. Isn't he? Right. So uh, yeah. So when you do your um, hit location, when you do your hit location, you roll a d10 and add on 10. Okay, let's see whether or not the spell comes off first. Yeah, cool. Okay, I'm using a point of luck to take that to a 37. Cool, yeah. Okay, then, so do Goblin 2 first for me, please. Okay, so the... Um, I don't. Um, you you get a, an invade. Yeah, that's what I'm just doing now because we better put that in straight away. Yeah, he he's he sort of like sees it coming and he dodges out the way and it sort of like goes out and he just sort of like um, swings off to one side. You don't know whether or not it was actually. Oh no, sorry, wrong wrong skill, wrong skill. Is it evade or endurance? Um, I, I believe it's um, I believe it's invade. It is helpful if you. Um, stick yeah, I'm with just it. I'm just linking it now. It, I just have to click a whole load of things. Evade. All right, right. So I'll roll that again then because I did endurance. <laughs> but he evades it as well. So he, he sort of like uh, he, he he probably was probably was in the the right position, but um, you just sort of like reach out with your smoke as Dominic sort of like comes charging in and you, you miss him um, altogether. However, your other one will go into this big guy and chunk. And that does hit him. He doesn't evade that so you need to do um 1d10 plus 10 1d10 plus 10 correct d10 plus 10 um 11 11 so that's actually in, in his chest and that bypasses armor doesn't it um it it's natural um Natural or magical armor points reduce the damage as normal. Say again, uh, magic. magic. No, it's not. It's not magical. It's just like or normal. natural. Yeah, no, he's got armor on. So okay, so um, <gasps> he takes a whole one point as the the tendrils of grey smoke wrap around his chest and then crackle with electricity. Okay. Um, out of interest, the one that went to Goblin Two because he evaded it has that now gone, or is it is it is the tendril still there and he's just missed? No, it, it, that that tendril's gone now. So the only tendril you have out is the one attaching to the boss. Right. Okay. And that, that's it. Um, Hengis, you you will have another another attack. I Hengis think. does, yeah. Or another um, movement, or whatever you want to use. Hengis does, yeah. Hengis, from, now that he's seen Dominic whiz past him, he's going to, so from going from a steady <laughs> yeah. stride, he's going to break into, not so, he's going to, not like a full sprint, but he's going to be sort of like advancing more quickly now. So he's almost running, not sprinting. Um, and he's going to, he, he wants to run into combat with, with the main dude, still smashing his shield with the flat of his beard as he goes. Yeah. Excellent. So that'll be your final movement round yeah. um, as we go into, guys, um, turn round two, turn one. So, um, Gully, you um, pick it up straight away. Okay. Um, oh, hang on. Hang on. Sorry, guys. Um, just, just so you know, um, let me just put um, their initiatives in now. So they will be going on five, all of them. Okay, so they'll all go on five for the time being. 
um, just for ease. Okay, so say again, sorry, Gully. Okay, so with this tendril wrapped around the, the goblin chieftain's, I'm just going to call chest. it that, Yeah. chest, um, Gulliver's, again, pushing out his hand and he's going to leave it where he is and just channel the magic through it to get it to um, damage again. Cool. Nice. Seven. So that takes him down um, to that. So yeah, you you the tendril um, comes around and so like constricts it and Hengus, you you hear this um, this um, this boss sort of like yell out um, as you you notice it sort of like its leather armor cracks slightly uh, as this tendril sort of like tightens um, uh, around his um, around his chest. Um, would you like to please, um, Gully, roll 1d3 for me? Okay, was that? Two. Two, thank you. That was a d3, yeah? Yeah. Um, yeah, so you you hear here, and the 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 orc boss almost the goblin boss almost like gets yanked up by by this um, um, tendril um, off off his feet, and then he sort of like um, collapses um, to to the ground. You think he's just un, un, unconscious, but he, he's definitely um, out of it. Um, right, Hengus, you're up. Um, Hengus wants to make sure that this goblin chap's dead and he's just going to plunge his... So is it, it's the goblin on his front or his back, sorry? He, he's probably on his back because he was probably yanked by um, Hengus's okay. um, tendril. Okay, in that case, he's going to take a sharp step forward and leaning down and he's just going to go straight in, point first into, um, into, into the goblin. It, yeah, whereabouts? Um... If I get to pick, he's gonna he's gonna finish in the chest. Yeah, well, he he's he's not moving on the ground, so okay. you don't need to roll or anything. I just need to know where you want to stick it, your sword, and yeah. how much damage you would like, how much damage you do. Okay, so uh, da, 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 I'll roll my sword. Uh, four, four points of yeah. damage. Let's see where that takes it down to. Okay, yeah. So, so you sort of like whack your um, sword um, into this um, this um, goblin's um, sort of like chest, and there's a spurt of blood, and th there's also like a, a sort of like a cry, a murmured cry out of it. He's definitely unconscious, and he's definitely bleeding quite um, heavily um, from his wound. Okay, Dominic, you are up. All right, um. Uh... Excellent. That's really good. You guys are doing great. Um, I want to swing at Goblin 2 then to make sure that he doesn't try and go over and help his boss. I don't want them to get you know, yeah, overwhelmed. Yeah, uh, so. cool. I'm going to yeah. try and take out uh, yeah, Goblin 2. Let's go ahead and use the X-Men, and we are going... I used the, what we already agreed on. We're just assuming I used two magic points, bring it down to very easy. So you need to spend this turn doing your Mystic Roll. Oh, yeah, you're right. Did yeah. I not do that my first turn up here when I was no, praying? No, you did a lot of praying and a lot of bashing, but there was... I meant to use it! I didn't even use the turn! I just wasted it! <laughs> I didn't oh, I didn't, I didn't hear at all that you were casting your Axeman, so... I, it's up you to did you. look good, though. It did look yeah. good. Bartleby was very impressed. That's what <laughs> I meant to do. Bartleby wow, sort of, like, looked not... towards you and went, hmm, like yeah, this, a bit. I thought I had Axeman already. So um, it's up to you. You can either cast it now, no, this is a terrible idea. Exactly what I did. <laughs> or you can just swing to hit. Damn it! I thought I used it. Um, no, I'm not. I can't just run up to him and then be like, "Hang on, time out. I have to pray again." Like, yeah, you, you, no. yeah, <laughs> I, I, yeah. <laughs> you, you no, also I'm need to fine. remember, guys, that a round, a round is five seconds long. The round. Yeah. So you actually have two seconds, but I, I agree it would be really strange. But if you did want to do it, what I would probably say is that as you 
um, carried on running from the last round. You actually did your praying and screamed out and, and did yeah. it there. But it's up to you. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do it, actually. I'm going to cast Axeman, I'm going to cast my mysticism. And as I do the roll and I come up, I just want to stand up in front of him and just kind of hold my axe out and just roar right in his face. Just okay, then. So, goblin. so roll your mysticism. In honor of my deity mysticism. Yeah. Oh. Do you wish to oh, use? Let's roll all the way up. Um. Yeah, I'll use another another luck point uh, to flip that. Okay then. So yeah. So so that will um come come on, and you sort of like feel that the power of um Tabris sort of like flows through you, and you you feel the power of which animal coming into you? Uh, bear. Definitely bear. bear. Yeah. So you almost like feel the, the strength of the bear as it sort of like funnels into you. And people around you, you almost like, you see Dominic almost like shift slightly, um, almost like as a rearing bear as he lifts his great um, axe um, uh, up, in, up in the air. Um, Bartleby, you're up. Um... Wow, I'm just going to be impressed first off. Um, I, I'm going to keep creeping forward a little bit. Use my turn to just kind of move up to maybe like here. Is that fine? Yeah, cool. You're getting cool. rather close to that water. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting weirded out by I'm, Mr. I'm Pickles inching my way closer. <laughs> yeah. He's just he's staring just, at us. He's just following behind us like, ooh. Uh, what well, the cat? I'm not, I can't oh. see the cat. Mr. Pickles has got a cat on, my, on the screen and he's just staring really straight at the, at the computer screen <laughs> and the camera. Watch, it's whenever watch. Enwills comes on. My cat is really fascinated by your face, I think, Enwills. Well, who isn't? That is weird, look. Well, because Rat comes up there and then my cat loses a little bit of interest, starts That's looking around. Normal. That's he's, normal. he's waiting for Enwills. Yeah. This, what, what's your cat called? This like is Mulberry. Kitty. Mulberry, as in the bush. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or as yeah. in the wine. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or, or as in the shop. Oof, I guess. Or as in the shop, <laughs> Mulberry Hall. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fun. Okay then. Um, so yeah. So um, Bartleby so like continues to um, creep up slowly and almost like walking purposely, perhaps. And Ben is behind you. And um, as you as you walk, um, Bartleby, you hear <laughs> like that, and you you notice that Ben has bent down and pulled his little knife or his dagger, sorry, um, out of his boot. And uh, he sort of like uh, has it um, next to him. Okay, so this is um, Goblin um, fire, um, swiping. Um, um, it's going to thrust its spear at you, um, uh, Dominic. But misses it, but misses all, all t altogether. And then um, Goblin, normal Goblin, and Goblin 1 and Goblin 3, which are the other two um, outside, lob their spears at you, um, Hengis. Both of, both of them, sorry. Yeah. Cool. So this is, this is the one further down from the Goblin um, thing. He chucks his and misses. Okay. Hengis hasn't even noticed that. He's still sort of like got his attention to like thrust... Um, on the, on the the sword being thrust yeah. into the goblin chieftain, and then this this is um, the goblin on the far side. Yeah, so all all of a sudden you you see these two um, these two spears uh, are launched at you, and they sort of like hit the crates uh, be, behind you uh, as as they f um, fire into um, combat. Okay, um, we're combat round, combat turn two, and it's you, um, Gully. Okay, so um, Gully has let his rack spell um, go at once. Once the the large goblin had dropped to the um, dropped to the ground, and um, seeing the one by the boars has just chucked a spear at um Hengist. Correct. He's going to he's going to point to it with his fingers crossed and he's going to say Eric 
and cast a spell. Which comes off. Yeah, cool. Um, um, I think you are. You do get a, a, a an endurance resist. Thank you. Which he fails. Is this is this is Goblin one, isn't it? This is this one by the boars here. Yeah, thank you. I'll I'll stick his name tag on it. So it says Goblin. Um, so that I know what that does. Um, pump. Um, excellent. Okay, um, that's that's um, that is your um, turn two action done with a spell. Yeah, and Hengis, you are up. So yeah, having stabbed the chief goblin in the chest, he's going to recover his position, pull his sword back, and then he's going to move towards the other goblin. Cool. So that'll be your movement to him. Um, mm -hmm. Excellent. And Dominique, you're up. Dominique. Oh, um, so as Goblin 2 thrusts at its spear, I just kind of want to, you know, obviously he missed. I'll just say that I spun my axe and, you know, knocked it to the side. And as I do, I want to spin it around and try and cleave straight at him. Yeah. Um, rolling. Uh, whenever I figure out where it's at. Axeman, rolling. Ooh, Ooh nice. nice. Critical that. roll. Um, the, the, domin uh, the, the Goblin tries pathetically um to to parry your shot so basically mm -hmm. what what's happened here is that you've launched your way down and um, started to run towards the um goblin after successfully somersaulting over the crate um as you get closer and closer you you're summoning up the the power of the bear the goblin vainly sort of like tries to um stab you with, with his spear and then everybody sees you tower up as if you're like a mauling bear. And then with your huge great axe, you just bring it down um, onto the um, onto the goblin. I need specials first. You'll, uh, have, yeah. you'll have two. Two? Oh. Yeah, because okay. you've got... Yeah, can, you see, you crit. can you see you got a critical? And I uh -huh. failed. Yeah. So. Okay. Oh, okay, so two. Uh, well, one is going to be max damage. Yeah. I can do that, right? Attacker criticals? Okay. And um, it stacks. I mean, can I just do max damage twice? <laughs> or choose location. Can I max damage his face? Yes, you can. And just cleave his head clean off? So you can you can choose choose location and then max damage it. Yeah. Yeah. So that would be 14 damage to his head. Or neck, I suppose. Uh, yeah. I need, I need your... Um, to the head, yeah? And this is on yeah. Goblin 2. 2, yes. Okay, um, how many, How much damage? 14 max 14, damage. 14, thank you. Plus two. So that I come off that. <laughs> 14, 13. Yeah, so you, you sort of like um, rush in, you somersault over. He takes a vain stab uh, as with your spear and you land down and you immediately just sever his head in, in one um, fair um, swoop. And this goblin just lands. It sort of like stands for a while and then it rocks as if it's trying to figure out what's happened and then it just um falls to the ground dead it and um um bartleby you're up um wow um that was a really good blow um i guess i'm going to turn to benjamin and say now's your now's your time to shine go and aid our allies i'll be fine back here and i kind of give him a little push forward Okay, so he he will he will use his movement and jump over the um, 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 lake, and you he's not he's not crying out, he's not like doing a war cry. You can see his dagger flashing um, in the um, fire. He seems to have his head down and he's purposefully um, just running for this goblin that's um, near uh, near Dominic, um, the, the goblin one um, down here. And and therefore it's um, sounds good to me. It's like um, goblin's turn. Yeah. So um, Hengis, let's do you first. 
Okie dokie. So um, this, oh no, this goblin um, now will, um, um, he, he sees you coming towards him and he's obviously, he's chucked his spear already. So as you come towards him, rather than drawing a weapon, he's still got his shield on his other hand and he just bash, tries to bash you um, with, with, his, with his shield. Yeah, and, it, and he misses it. He's not like a poof like that, but does it too early and just sort of like uh, completely uh, misses um, altogether. And the goblin one down here, he um, draws his um, short sword. And is that everyone done? Um, Hengus has still got to point. Oh yes, to Hengus. Me. Yes, for that that turn. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Is that yeah. right? Okay then. Yeah, so yeah, so sorry. turn turn three then. And and Gully, you'll be up first. Okay. Seeing um, the goblin by the boars draw um, draw his short sword. This is the same one as is um, that um, Gully used his other spell on. Again, he's going to point at it, and this time he's going to say, Idabalad, and cast another spell. Cool. Yeah, which comes off. So as as he says it, the, the blade of the short sword, it starts off at the hilt and goes right through up to the top of the blade. It just, it just rusts. There's just rust filling it it's just it, it's it's no longer sharp it's it's yeah it's more like a club now rather than a cool than does it a, does it go sword. does it go down low it lowers it it's the opposite of the the blade sharp one so it lowers it by yeah. one stage got yeah let me just put on an icon so i can um, um remind myself if i forget um then then let oh me, i'll remind you don't i'll me. put that on yeah okay then uh, don't forget to reduce your uh, magic points and hangers. Yeah. So yeah, seeing that the goblin tried to to lash out with his shield to to strike at me, and now has opened himself up. Hengus, as quick as lightning, is going to bring his um, his sword in and is going to try and strike at the goblin. Yeah, and obviously he's he, he's opened um, up. He, he, you you can now um, strike at him, so you'll have one success, one um, special sorry. What would you okay. like his special to be? Um, he is probably going to do bleed. Okay. Um, roll for location. In his 20. Cool. So that'll be his head, won't it, I think? Yeah. Damn it, I should have done a pale. Never mind. Um, and then he's, yeah. yeah, then he's going to um, roll his damage. Oh, max damage. Cool. Um, nice. So that'll be down to. Uh, nine. So he's he's um, as he's advanced forward, the goblin's lashed out. He's just gone, just just done a quick like cut straight across the goblin's face, was like down just below one of his left eye, all the way down diagonally across to his to the, the other opposite side of the chin. Cool. And he's he, painting him. He needs to um, roll this, which he succeeds. Um, yeah. So um, roll a one d three for me, please. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, how do I do that? Just, Just do forward slash, slash R or roll at one d three. Full slash R D one d three. Yeah, put yeah. a space in between the R and the one d three. Sorted. Two. Two. Thank you. Uh, so that needs to be. Too. Yeah, so so you you whack him uh, across his head, and it, there's a, a huge gash there that is is hemorrhaging quite quickly. Um, however, he, he's not he's not unconscious. He seems to be filled with some kind of um, almost like foul rage at this point that is actually um, keeping him up and running, he's, uh, up and fighting. It's almost as if he's got nothing um, to lose at this point at all. Okay, guys. Um, um, He's also got no nose. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, Gully, um, you need to roll me a fatigue roll, please. And nope. so, so does um, Bartleby. Uh, 
So, and Gulliver, you're fatigued, yeah? Yeah. Um, I don't think... Do we have Mr. Pickles? I don't see him on Zoom. He's, he oh, should there be he back. Is. He's back, yeah. Yeah, that's him. Just well, uh, it, just well in endurance, Mr. Pickles. <laughs> all this all this marching along is gotcha. taking its to toll out of him. <laughs> <laughs> all this oohs and ahs and... Yeah. Oh, and he's definitely back. gone. No, he's, he's back again he's now. He's coming back. There, there it is. we go. He's back. Okay, He's so just, uh, um, both um, Gulliver and Mr. Pickles, you're both um, fatigued to one level now. Okay, then. Um, let's start round three, turn one. And Gully, you're up. Okay. Um, I can hear you guys. I just can't see you at all. That's so weird. Yeah, he's having all kinds of technical issues. He, right. he can't see any of the cans or anything. So. Okay. Um, <laughs> being, being winded and... Um, Gulliver's going to make his way into the into the camp into the light. Okay, so just a movement then, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, Hengis, you're up. So yeah, having done one quick strike, he's going to follow up um, again, quick as lightning, um, with another attack. Okay, just one second. Oh, just, sorry. Just one. Sec yeah, if you rolled it, you you that's. Uh, yeah, I said I, I I rolled it as you said. Just that's all right. You can keep the roll. I don't mind. Um, but, 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 I was just looking for um, something. Uh... Okay, yeah, um, not not a problem. Um, yeah, so so you swing, and, you swing. He will use his he will use his luck point. Sorry, so to okay, reverse yeah. that. Okay, so the, this um, this um, goblin um, sort of like hunkers down. Um, and be behind his um, behind his um, shield, and tries desperately to um, um, shield um, a as it comes in. Yeah, so you sort of like swing down, and he sort of like brings up his, his shield in a vain attempt. It just whacks um, down um, onto it onto his shield. Okay, okay. Um, so that's attack, and that's um, he has a P. Okay, um, Dominic, you up? Okay. Uh, quick question for you: If I was to take my two-handed axe and throw it, you know, like overhead and throw it at a goblin, this one over here, yeah. is that a thing you can do, or yes, is that not? It, it is a thing you can do. It is okay. Um, also, can I get a quick recap? So this guy's beheaded and down. This guy has a little symbol on him, but I'm not sure uh, what it what it meant. You what, don't what know. Oh, okay, all, I don't know. All, all you saw uh, as you as you turn round, you mm -hmm. just saw that his short sword is all rusted now. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Um, what happened to the big big guy over here? He's flat on the floor, and Hengis um, stabbed him once in the chest, and then moved on okay. to the other goblin over the other okay. side. Okay. Okay. And then he's wailing down on this guy with the shield. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Then I want to hurl my my axe. Oh, uh, just. And yeah, hopefully, cool. hopefully hit. So Go that's still Axeman, correct? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna roll for it. And 19 out of 128. Yeah. So you arch back with this huge axe and you lob it um, with all your strength, and it almost like it seems to be highly unweighted for a throwing weapon um, altogether. And the huge, heavy sort of like axe that causes the the end that causes all the damage, almost like brings it down instead of sort of like arcing like a nice hatchet would. It brings it down on a parabolic um, path um, too early and too sudden. And despite your great strength, it just sort of like comes down and lands with a thud with the axe, axe part down in the grass um, quite deep as it sort of like goes like that. that uh, you, you, you sort of like think you're not too sure whether or not this this sort of heavy axe is the best one to be chucking around at the moment. <laughs> um, um, Bartleby. Is he there? He's, he's yeah. yeah he's, he's good. Yeah. He's unmuted. He's just not talking. You up, Bartleby? He's, he's there, but frozen from my end. He's, oh, he he's doing a cat stare now. <laughs> he's doing a cat stare. <laughs> Uh, uh, what I'll do is that I'll move him up next to you, Gully. Okay. So you're, you're both oh, there. Sorry, uh, yeah. Oh. 
Are you back? He's back. Yep, he's back. Yeah, I've just okay. moved you up to Gully. Is there anything specific that you want to do? I'm thinking. I'll be in there. Uh, no, I'm going to hang back with Gully. That seems like a good idea. Yeah. Okay, so um, as, as Ben's running in, this huge axe comes sailing through the air, sort of like wax. <laughs> Um, it, it, into the, uh, into the uh, into the floor, and Ben's little legs carry on running um, like like um, anything. And then um, goblin, um, this goblin here. Um, sorry, I'll ping it. Uh, this one here um, turns round with its with its sword and slashes the um, this boar's um, tether rope. He just turns around and goes like like that um, with it, and that's his um, action um, for for that one. And we are moving into oh, and um, yeah, and sorry. Does it does it cut the rope? Because yes, it does. Yeah. The door blade it can't keep a sharp edge. Yeah, well, uh, I can I can roll for it still. No, because, no, it's fine. No, because it does do less damage, doesn't it? Right. That's yeah. what it does. So it'll just do like 1d4, I think, instead of 1d6. And it's only a, a thin piece of rope that he's, he's using. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll say something else then. He just picks up the... Um, he just untethers um, the uh, the um, boar. Um, Goblin 3, I think, hasn't had his attack, hasn't he? That's the one that's fighting you. Yeah, he, he's oh, carried, yeah. but that's it. Yeah, that, and that's all he can do for um, two turns. Okay then. Um, so we are back up for turn um, two, and it's you, Gully. Um, goblin. This one, I don't know which one it is. Goblin three. Sorry, I'll put, is this thing not on? Uh, all no. all it has is a, is a shield at the moment. He doesn't. It doesn't have anything. It doesn't have a weapon out. It hasn't drawn its sword or anything. No. Um, as as um. As um, Hengis came towards it, um, because it was in close combat, rather than drawing its sword, it just whacked it with its um, shield. And now it's sort of like hunkered down behind its shield. Okay. Um, does the fire um, from this flaming goblin, does it seem to be diminishing at all? It is, slowly but surely, but it'll give you light to the end of the um, round, you, uh, end of the combat, you think. Okay. Um, all right. Um, Gully is going to diver. Oh! <laughs> After all that, <laughs> I thought there was a wonderful, exciting plan coming up. Um, no. Hengis, you're up. Hengis is going to continue attacking this, this, this goblin. Okay, go for it. Now you got a standard this time. Cool. Yeah, and, and th this goblin um, tries desperately um, to parry it again, but he just brings up his um, um, shield too late. So you will do a uh, a special. Okay, uh, choose location. Is that all right? Yeah. Cool. So um, Angus will choose choose the. Um, Hang on, so he's a lot taller than the goblin, isn't he? Yeah, the goblins are a lot smaller. Okay, um, so he'll probably do a choose location. He's probably going. He's probably going to go sort of like the chest, but I'm sort of like thinking sort of like between like um, the collarbone, so like that sort of area. So he's done a he's done a faint, and then he's going he's going down into the goblin. Okay, then from so, that sort of angle. So it hit, hit his chest then. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Um, roll some. Damage and then do I get a bleed or impale type thing as well? I can't remember. No, because no, you chose no. location, chose location. Is special. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, ten. Yeah, so that I take it down the same as the um, head that you um, hit last time. So hang on a minute, just one second. I just need to do uh, my endurance roll. Uh, oh, wow. which, which is fine. So um, roll one d three again. I got a three this time. Um, so that'll be um, five now. 
Yeah, okay then, so you sort of like whack it in the chest this time. So it's got a huge gash in its head and it's got a huge um, gash across his chest and it's feebly holding its little shield up and you can hear it um, whimpering away as you sort of like tower over it and just sort of like you've almost taken his head off and then you're whacking it into, uh, into the chest and yet it still seems to be uh, alive and it's, it's almost like cowering down. Um, completely knowing that you know it's obviously going to die sooner or later and it's only this tiny little shield that is um in between it and its doom um dominic you're up yeah just so you know um pickles is gonna have to drop out it's been kicking him he says it kicks me out every minute i don't think i can continue okay then um, having well, issues. so if you wanted to fix cameras and do that um getting back in um um, Chugger Worker, can you boot up your laptop? Yeah, he says it's for some reason it's having technical and un uh, unstable connections, and it's not and it's not allowing him. Did Chugger Worker, did you hear that? Yeah, yeah, I'm booting up. Yeah, yeah. cheers, thank you. Okay then, um, so... Oh, uh, yeah, you wanted me to move. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's you, yeah. So I threw my my two handed axe. Obviously, that didn't work. Um, is it a move action to to grab my hatchets? Yeah. Yeah, it's already a weapon action. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, but you can't. It's not like D and D. You can't combine the two. So you can't move and oh. ready a weapon. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. It would be one or the other. Um. Yeah. Uh, so. I'm debating. I might just since this weapon. I'm I'm bigger than this goblin, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm thinking since the axe didn't work and to grab another axe, his weapon's rusted. I'm thinking I'm just gonna. Uh, you have. I think a, I tried to. You I, have. Oh, a, sorry. You have an unarmed skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My unarmed uh, attack. Oh wait, that's really low. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna equip my hatchets. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, that's a really, really low on arm skill. I'm just going to equip my hatchets. So it, it'll take it. It'll be one for one and one for the other. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then I guess I'll equip one hatchet. Yeah. So that Primary. that'll be a, a readier weapon. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Uh, excellent. And um, li li little um, little Ben um, gets um, to here on his next round. Are you up yet, um, Chugwagon? Let me know when. No, you're... it's it's on its way. No, not yet. Sorry, I didn't know what. Do Do you know the code? No, no. Hang on, then I'll send it to you. It's coming to you via um, Discord if you've got it open. Uh, well, then, cause okay, then I'll I'm put just, I'll I'm... put it in here for you. I'll put it in. No, it's just I'm going to have to type it into. Yeah, you do. Oh, you need to just type join meeting and then just type in the the numbers and then that's it. I don't have zoom. I don't have zoom. I need zoom installed though, don't I? You can use it through the browser. Yeah. It won't be the best, but I mean, you're not even going to use it, right? It's just going to be a placeholder. Right, where have you sent it? Uh, it's in Discord. All right, it's just come through now. Yeah. So you just need to join meeting, take out the, the sound, etc., and then just use the last code. Yeah, but it's in a different, Zoom's on a different computer. Yeah, so... Well, I'll just type it in, just carry on with what you do. Yeah, so join meeting, well, hang on, because I need to organise the cameras, that's what I'm waiting for. I don't have a join meeting, that's what I'm saying. Right, so can you open Discord up on your laptop? I think it's opening up now. Cool. Okay. 
Ta da! Are you in? No. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, I can I can see. Chigwa goes nose down. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Did you say to um, disconnect? Did you say to join with? I think you've joined with your camera. It automatically did it. Hmm. Okay. You can just turn the camera off in the bottom left corner. Yeah. St stop the cam and put, stop the sound. Oops. Oh, no, I guess he would need his camera on. He would need his camera on and then just pull up. Well, at, at least at least that that's looking better now. He's joined it with Chugga Wugga, but that, that's fine. Okay, then. So, um, yeah, so, so all right, I, I need to do... Um, Several different things now. So okay then. So this is. Um, yeah, you're right. That worked. That did work. Okay. Um, uh, um, ben takes a swipe um, at, at this goblin. So the goblin yanks up the tether, and Ben takes a uh, a swipe at it, and actually um, hits him. Um, one d four, isn't it? Is it 1d4 plus 1 for... Um, right, I'll do that. It's not a problem. Um, goblin 1. And hits him in. Can somebody roll a 1d20 for him? Yeah, it is 1d4 plus 1. Yeah, somebody done it, or shall I do it? No, I haven't. I assumed that was you oh. doing it, leaning in trigger again. I'll do it. So right, it's done. Boom! Nailed it. No, thank you. Three. <laughs> um, so he, he whacks it in his um, right leg and sort of like puts a nasty gash <clears throat> in into the um, into the goblin's um, right leg. Okay, and um, goblin's um, um, turn. This goblin number three, the one that you're slowly hacking into, Hengis does nothing he can't actually do anything apart from parry and evade for five turns sorry yeah five turns now so he's he's quite happy doing this and this goblin here um jumps onto the jumps onto the ball and he's going to make his um athletics roll in order to uh, jump on and it, he, only we had an archer right now and he um he he tries to um jump onto it but you you notice that the he seems to be sapped off energy and as he tries to sort of like get manage to get his leg over the the ball he he fails he, he just can't he seems so tired he just can't seem to um get up onto it and that's your spell gulliver stop that um rather cool. than anything else okay then um this is um turn three so gulliver i think you've got one left um gulliver seeing that it looks like this um goblin is going to make a a, a break for it for it gulliver puts his hand into his tunic and comes out with a throwing stone Okay, so he's ready, ready. a weapon. Yeah, cool. Okay, um, Hengus, you're up. Hengus is going to try and finish this goblin off. It's, it's lasting longer than it should be. <laughs> he's just <laughs> pummeling it to the ground. He, he, he doesn't manage to do anything. Oh, it's, thank God for that, because I couldn't start <laughs> the description. <laughs> okay, then. Um, this Could is... use a look, well. I've, I've used it. No, he's making fun because it's 88. 88. I've used it. <laughs> okay, I then. Use it in this um, so um, this is um, Hengis and um, Dominic. You need to make um, endurance rolls for me, please. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okie dokie 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 dokie. Incoming. Uh, Hengis is fine. He's obviously used to combat. Endurance roll. Well, I hope so. And so is Dominic. Okay. Um, combat um, pursues. Yeah. We're into combat round four. Um, turn one. Um, Gulliver, you're up. Let's go. Gulliver, taking careful aim, 
pulls back his hand and launches his throwing stone. Seven meters away, yeah. Is it seven? Yeah, well, it's six point eight. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, yeah. So um, my that would put it into my middle range. Okay. Yeah. That means you can't um, choose location at that. Okay. So uh, therefore, you're at hard. Remember to hit because you're firing into existing combat. Which and also mean, winded. So Does therefore, that mean? therefore, you're at formidable to hit. Yeah, you sort of like la launch it in, and it just sort of like um, goes. Hang on, I'm going to I'm going to use a luck point to re-roll it. Okay then. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. That's a point. If ever I've seen one. one. <laughs> wow. So you you sort of like go like this. <laughs> <laughs> there must must be a chance of been hitting Benjamin. Well, yeah, because it's a fumble, I'm not going to roll a chance of hitting anybody else. It will go against you, and it will hit um, Benjamin. So um, just do a location. Uh, Fifteen. Fifty. Thank you. And damage. Um. Damn. Nothing. Okay, so it it, it it sort of like hits it hits the side of his head, and he, he's sort of like taken aback, and he sort of like looks around, it, expecting um another Gulliver will look around an, as well another attack, <laughs> and just looks he sort of like looks quite angrily at, at um Dominic. What? <laughs> uh, man. Um and Hengis, um you're right. I'm just over there laughing. <laughs> oh no, sorry, that that's. I did that round the wrong way, didn't I? No, no, Hengus, you're up, yeah. No, it is Hengus, yeah. yeah. No, really confuse me. Hengus is still going to be trying to attack. Uh, no, actually, no, Hengus is going to do something different. Fed up with this goblin continuously shielding his attacks, he's going to try and kick him over. Okay. So he's going to try and like, lift his, do like a proper, like a kick. Yeah, unarmed combat, go for it. No. No. Yes. So you, you raise your boot and it, it just sort of like um, goes to stamp on it and he just sort of like manages to move out the way um, just 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 as the at the last moment. Um, Would it help if it was unconscious, Hengist? Would that help? <laughs> Maybe. Don't, uh, no, let's not do. Maybe. Um, <laughs> um, right, um, Dominic, you're up. Okay, I am also gonna throw um, a hatchet at a goblin. Uh, this okay, one here so on the floor. because you're going into combat, this would normally be hard. Mm -hmm. um, but you've got your um, axeman okay. on, so therefore it it just needs an easy or less okay. to hit. Easy or less. Okay, here we go. He aims, he fires. Kajada! I got the easy. Just. <laughs> just got the easy. Just. Four, five left. It. So you, you pull back your hatchet and you chuck it. And, and just so you know, just as you it leaves the, the hand, you figure that these are much better for throwing than, than your um, great, great axe oh, yeah. um, oh, yeah. is at all. Okay, and it, it's perfectly weighted. And, and Ben is sort of like, he's sort of like looking at you in any case. And you draw your um, ha hatchet back and chuck it. And you see his eyes widen <laughs> slightly. As you launch this um, hatchet, um, you can like feel the air. Just... Yeah, and it just sort of like goes. It sort of like whizzes past him. And do um, so I... range. It's like three meters, and my yeah. range is 10, twenty and thirty. I yeah, that's how... all right. Are you um, are you within your lowest one? Yep. Yep. Yeah. So you you you've got a special, but you can't choose location. Okay, so I do have a special. Can't choose location. Yeah. All right. I can't so, do anything because I'm not aware that it's coming. The not a So uh, the best one would be. Do you have impale with this? Uh, impale. Oh, with a uh, hatchet. Um, let me pull up my character sheet. I'm, you you will mind. have uh, so impale. Oh, will, I will. Okay. Yeah, because it's going to stick into him. So this is when you you'll throw it into him and then. You, it will stay in him and continue to do damage over a period of time. 
um, okay. the, yeah, the longer fun. that you you actually um, have it in there, and you're not actually going to pull it out. So what do you do? What the first thing you do? Roll your um, roll your um, location first. Okay. Uh, oh, I was about to roll it in your Twitch chat. That wouldn't work. Right. Uh, <laughs> <difficult>. <laughs> One d twenty. A sixteen. Okay, so you you launch it at, at this um, at this goblin, and mm -hmm. it hits him um, right in his um, left arm. Now you roll your damage twice, okay. and you choose which one you want to take. Okay. So Obviously, there's one. There's two. And there's the other one. So I'll take the four. <laughs> okay, so that um, goes into that. So that would take uh, three there. Um, so um, what will happen now, um, leaving the weapon in will inflict. Um, the, the first thing is all my attempts go up one, no matter what, because obviously I've got an axe in my arm. And the, the other thing, um, how big is me i'm all my skills are now formidable so um in any case plus i think he's tired so it's even worse um da, 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 da. The weapon remains stuck in the wound although da, 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 da. i'm sure you take more damage i think that's if you take it out i vaguely yeah, remember if you take it out success pulls the weapon free causing further injury to the same location equal to half the normal damage roll for that weapon. Yeah, so what, because it's still in his arm now, he's just finding everything harder to do because he's got a, he's got a hatchet um, in his arm, um, right. which is, everything's now formidable for him. So that's, um, yeah, so you sort of like, that's Meow coming into this uh, stream. So all of a sudden you sit, Dominic, and Ben looks at you wide-eyed as you throw this hatchet and it goes slamming past him and just hits. Um, the, the goblin lets out a, a howl and um, Ben turns round and um, just whacks um, his, his um, dagger. He, he, gets a, he gets a 62, which, which means he, he actually uh, misses. Okay, um, we're on to... Um, that's everybody done for that round, yeah? Yeah. For that turn? Yeah, so turn um, two. And Gully, you're up. So what are we on now? Um, Round oh, this four, is turn two. Okay. Um, so just just so you have a recap, um, Hengus is, has tried to stab this goblin twice. Hengus is all like going, duh, duh. The, the poor little goblin's going, ah, cur, cur, like that. And then he tried to put the boot in and it's all like, missed it. This poor little goblin's going, ah. He's not got a weapon in his hand. He's just got a shield. He's got this huge gash over half of his face and no <laughs> nose. And a huge gash um, pouring blood. Uh, he's sort of like losing blood left, right and centre, this poor goblin. And then... Um, so it looks like Hengist needs help. Well, you, you don't know. Um, the goblin tried to get onto the boar, failed... Ben whacked it into the um, leg with its dagger. You chuck a pebble at it, a stone at it, and hit Ben. Ben turned around, looked at um, Dominic really angrily, and Dominic chucked a hatchet, and it whizzed <laughs> past Ben and hit the, the goblin that was trying to get onto the boar um, onto the arm. And it's your... Just so you know, Chugga Wugga, nobody ever told Hengist as he was growing up not to play with his food. No, that's <laughs> true. Is there... Uh, um... Gully's going to look on the uh, on the on the floor and see whether or not he can um, he can find another um, throwing stone. Yeah, by <laughs> all means, um, roll, roll, a, roll a perception check. There is, um, yeah, you you can find one. I'm hard. Uh, 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 yeah, well, yeah. it's very yeah. easy. That's what I'm no. thinking. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's going to be his action. Okay then, so yeah, so you you've sort of like um, found found a, a stone. You can pick it up within that action. That's not a problem. Um, um, Hengus, you're up. Hengus, Hengus is going to try and finish this thing off again. Okay, go he's, for it. He's decided he doesn't like goblins or green green men at all. Twenty uh, three. Oh, thank the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> um, Finally. 
Just need to. Yeah, oh. so this um, goblin makes a feeble attempt, but suddenly realizes that, that death is probably um, upon him. Um, you've got a special. Cool. He's, he's going to do choose location if that's possible. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he's going to choose location and he's, he's going to choose um, the chest again. Okay. Um, and then he's going to. Uh, only three points. But three points. So yeah, he he's he's bashed down. But as he goes as he goes up, as he brings his sword down this time in a slashing action, and the goblin brings his shield up to parry, he's going to duck round round it at the outside, and this time he's going to attack. So it's like between the ribs, sort of like halfway up his chest. Yeah, and way. and doubling double hitting uh, an area that was a that was seriously damaged before is actually a really good tactic you you suddenly think and you remember your old battle master tell you this that you know once you've hit a location rather than switching it's a lot better to just keep going and going and going on that uh, location because double hitting it in its chest actually means that on this second one there's such a big gaping hole um there that it's just um whimpers slightly and and almost like welcomes um death as it collapses um on the floor with a huge pool of blood um underneath it um dominic you're up right. dominic steps away from his piece oh no he's no i'm here i'm here sorry okay. um i heard noises and i was checking investigating we're good um <laughs> Uh, I think at this point I'm just going to walk over, because what, what is the status of uh, this goblin over here? He attempted to get onto the board, but he did not succeed, correct? Yeah. Okay, so he's just standing next to Is he still standing, and he's got a hatchet in his arm? and He's, he's got hatches stabbed. in his arm. He's got a short sword that is all dull, and Ben um, whacked it, has whacked it and given it a right leg gash. Okay. I'm going to just walk with purpose, trying to be, like, intimidating, you know, like, I'm going to come finish you off, and I'm going to walk up to my, my uh, double-handed axe uh, that is stuck in the ground. I just want to walk over. Obviously, I can't grab it yet because that's already weapon action, but just walking yeah. over and Gripping it, I guess, ready to pull it out and, and go to town on this dude. Cool. Uh, do you have an intimidation roll? Oh, um, I believe it sucks, but... Uh, oh, no, I do not actually have the skill. Intimidation. It, it, is it a... Is it, a prof it must be on a professional skill. Maybe. I don't, I don't see it. Uh, influence, sorry. Oh, influence. Uh, yeah, it's not very good. I can try. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, well, well. Yeah, you sort of like m march before, <laughs> but there's there's a slight swagger that comes across <laughs> almost like camp uh, as you're sort of like um, go, going towards it, and, and no, nothing sort of like re really sort of like takes um, effect. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is um, Ben. Um, ben misses with with his dagger. And the goblin um, tries to get onto um, his um, onto his um, watch me call it um, his um, beast again. And of course, this is an athletics role. But remember, now it's that formidable um, because of the the hatchet in his hand, and he sort of like um, fails um, miserably. And that's the end of his. Um, Turn. So we're on to turn um, three for anybody who's got anything left. Go, oh, Hengus will. Hengus still does. Yeah. Um, and yes, Gully first, has, yeah. but Gully is is going to take aim at this goblin, but then decide against it because there's there's just too many people in melee. At okay, the moment, so you're so. sort of like there going. Yeah, like that. Um, Hengus. Cool. Um, Hengus is going to after um, he's going to draw his sword back from having um, swiped at this um, this this goblin, uh, this green little green man thing. Mm. Um, he's going to he's just going to turn um, and he wants to sort of like survey the situation. So I was hoping he yeah. could use like a perception skill or something. What what does he want to see? He wants to take in the situation. He wants to see who's where, doing what. Yeah, that, that that's um, absolutely that sort of fine. You you just you just turn around and look. You because you don't need to do a perception. Would be is that if you're looking for various specific things, you can see what's happening in the combat. 
um, that's not okay. a problem. But that, so if, yeah. if he takes that, if he takes that in in board one um, automatically, if that's what you're saying. No, that yeah, you don't need a skill. Is that? Well, but it would but take you it taking an action to sort that's of fine. like that's um, what you want to do. Yeah. Okay then, and so we are up to combat round um, five. Um, Gully. I don't know whether or not you noticed, but Mr. Pickles is back in World Twenty, and he's just coming to Zoom as well. Oh, cool. Um, Gully, you need um, oh, an endurance roll. Endurance. Boom! Yes. Nice. So you get a critical at that point, so you're going to just keep hard fatigued rather than going any higher. Yes. And Gully, you're up. Do I get anything else for it? What? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a get crit. a badge or a, or a sweet or something. Here we go. You can, you can get a pat on the back. Uh, a round of applause. There you go. All right. Can, can um, I just ask, can you just speed it up? Because I'm dying for the bathroom. Can I just say that? No, this, 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 this goblin is going to be up there for ages. Um, God, Gully's going to cast a spell. Oh, he's wow. going to cast it. He's going to cast it on the ball this time that this um, goblin is trying to get on, and he's going to um, he's going to point at it and he's going to say, "Eret, Eret," and he's going to try to. Um, right. So remember, you're at hard. Yeah. Oh, but it still wow. comes off. Yeah. Um, you've got a. Um, you've got a, a an endurance. Yeah, um, I'm, just, well, right. I'm just going... That's why I'm opening the uh, couch sheet. Right, this is... yeah. yeah, Um. cool. And um, Hengis, you're up. Cool. Um, Hengis, having taken the situation, he's, he's going to go, well, there's no point going over there because Dominic's there and he trusts Dominic. So he's going to turn... His, he wants to turn his attention to the goblin that's on the ground, uh, the goblin chieftain. Mm. Um, he wants to see... And he knows he's put his sword in it, um, but he wants to. He's, he want, he's going to kneel down next to it, um, and he wants to sort of like check its pulse to see if it's still alive or if it's um, completely yeah. Well, dead. well, your um, first aid or, or healing roll. Yeah, it's it's unconscious, it's but it's it's a very um, faint um, um, pulse on it. Um, Dominic, you're up. Okay. Um. I guess I'm, I'm just going to have to ready the weapon, right? I need to grab the two-handed axe. So I'm going to rip it out the ground and kind of, just just with one hand, just walk up and rip it out the ground as I'm still yeah. walking towards this goblin. Cool. Dead-eyeing um, him. I'm, I'm kitty-staring him. Mr. Pickles taught me. Okay, kitty-stare. And um, <laughs> Ben rolls. Gets an 88 and misses. And goblin... Um, Okay, goblin's going to. Um, okay, go goblin's going to turn round, and rather than trying to um, get on any of this um, beast anymore, he he's going to take a swing at um, Ben. And and misses. Okay, um, round round two, guys. Turn two, sorry. Um, Gully, you're up. Um, nothing that Gully can do at the moment, so he's going to diver. Okay, divering. Um, Hengis, you're up. Um, Satisfied that this goblin um, is pretty much down for the count. When you say he's, his pulse is very weak, um, he's slowly bleeding out. That's what he's, he's yeah, doing. yeah, yeah. Okay, um, Hengis is going to now make his way around the fire, and he wants to to go move into combat with this guy, with this guy. Okay, um, Dominic, you're up. Oh, uh, okay. Um, at that point, oh crap. Um, okay. Uh, I guess I'll just have to walk all the way around. Yeah. So you you decide to block the um, escape attempt of, of the goblin, and sort of like go around to the other side. Um, um, little Ben um does his his dagger attack. And hits and somebody do um hang on let me just no no not the boar thank you um, uh, 
Um, is that a location of a one? Thank you. Yeah. Damage five. Yeah, so he's um, actually um, hit it in its right leg um, again. And actually, um, one, four. actually sort of like um, hits it really heavily in, in, in its right leg, ex as, same as where he hit it before, and sort of like opens up a, a, a gash, um, a huge gash um, in there. Um, and they, the, the goblin sort of like um, squeals as you notice this little dagger has almost like um, almost like severed the, the leg through to the bone as, as he pulls it out. And he's actually hit a main artery and the, the, the little um, goblin um, falls um, prone um, on, onto the floor. Um, he drops his weapon um, as well. Um, he can't do anything um, that round. Go on, Hengist! <laughs> <laughs> and um, Gully, you're up. Um, Gully is a, is, a, is a diver. Okay then, Hengist, you're up. Hengist wants to finish this, this, this goblin off, so he's just arrived, seen that Benjamin's done that, and he's just going to go straight into um, probably probably the yeah. Now, do, hang on. Just let, I think I think I'm right in saying that. Um, I think with uh, that's what I said earlier. But I think if um, something is prone, yeah, attack is is helpless. Uh, so he's prone. Um, defender. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. Okay then. So he he's he's down on the ground. So he's quite helpless. So it'd be an automatic um, hit on him. He can't do much else at the moment. His legs bleeding out. He's in agony. He can't. That's right. He's got his back exposed to you, so you can probably just whack it in there. Okay. Um, yeah. So he'll attack the, big, the biggest piece of target he can find on the goblin. Yeah. Do some damage for me. Eight. So this would be um, his chest, but on, on it on his back. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. And that takes it down to that. But that wasn't a swipe. That was he. Yeah. The, the role played action. He would have. He would have lunged into it. Yeah. Using the tip so, of the sword. Just like the other, the other goblin. This goblin's down on the floor, and you're sort of like stabbing it um, in, in in its back, and you sort of like slide uh, slide through um, his its its ribs, and you you obviously um, catch. Um, something quite important um, because you sort of like slice it in and the um, uh, from the back uh, as this sort of like goblin's helpless on the ground and it just sort of like shudders um, for a while and then dies. Cool. Hengis will um, sort of like recover from his lunge um, and he's, he's going to He's, he's going to call um, Bart to be over to, to the big goblin. Um, and as he says that, he says, from your from your experience of law, do you know um, if these things can talk in English? Or in, in well, not English, you know, in native, our native tongue, common tongue. Go I believe say, we, we've heard it. <laughs> um, and then Angus yeah, is, is going. The... Sorry. Sorry, go on, Mr. Pickles. Go on, Mr. Pickles. Oh, I was going to say, uh, Bartleby walks over and, and uh, upon hearing the question, says, uh, I mean, we have heard them before gesturing over to Goalie. Um, and, uh, but I don't, I don't recall any stories in the legends of them speaking in such a way. Okay. Um, Angus wants to see if he can try and wake it up or um, ask Bartleby, do, sorry, no, he's going to go to Bartleby and say, do you know how to, um, he's, he's unconscious and I know he's bleeding out. But is there a way you can wake it up so we can ask it some questions? I can attempt to. Uh, can I use uh, the, my healing skill to attempt to wake it up? Um, yeah. The um, the the problem is with him. Um, let me just. If, if he's still alive. Yeah. 
Um, the the thing is, he he's bleeding out so rapidly at the moment. I mean, his his chest is almost like completely caved in and shattered. So he really has very little lungs and heart um, sort of like left from um, Gully's um, um, magic. So you don't think actually um, bringing him back to life and healing him. You you can. Um, you're going to need an extremely powerful healing spell to bring him back. First aid is not going to not going to do it in that sense. It's going to have to be some kind of magical assistance. Oh, um, All right, I want to I want to lean forward. Go ahead. So I was just going to say, Hengis obviously doesn't know very much about medics, so he would have if if um, Bosby was to turn around and say. That, no, that's not to present. Hengis would be all right with that. I'm just saying. But I'm I'm gonna lean in towards the body and inspect it very closely, looking at the damaged organs and the chest stain. I'll turn to Hengis and say, "I'm afraid I can't make him talk at this point." Hengis will go, shame, and then he's just gonna try and finish it off. He's he's gonna put this thing out of its misery. Yeah, it's I mean, the it, nobler foe that it was. It, it doesn't. It doesn't um, take much uh, at all. It, it's almost dead in, in any case, and uh, pretty soon, you know, even as you whack your um, plunge your sword into it one last time, it it the sort of like um, shudder shudder shudders slightly, um, breathes its last breath, and um, leaves um, this world. Right, guys, um, um, let's take a break there, shall we? I know, Mr. Pickles, I know you've just got back. <laughs> but don't leave everything connected. I could use a break. Yeah, don't, yeah, leave everything connected. So if you're watching the stream, uh, we're going to take a, a quick 10-minute um, break. And so please go off and stretch your legs. And we will be back in 10.